Greenfield here for another edition of our Tech Time. What we're going to be talking about today is adding a slideshow uh, to our SharePoint sites. Now we've gone over this several times in, in uh, SharePoint trainings and such, but the problem is if we don't have the need for a slideshow directly after the SharePoint training, then we forget about how to do it. You know, this is one of those things, if you can stay on top of it or keep doing some stuff, you'll stay uh, a little bit more efficient at it. So fear not, because this video will live on YouTube as long as, um, I guess, YouTube is around or until someone takes it down. So what we're going to do is start off by going to Site Actions, and then we're going to go down to View All Site Content. And we see here that we've got picture libraries and then up here in our document libraries we have images now let me take it just a second to explain what the difference between picture libraries are and what images are images are stuff that we're going to use for example the Facebook like button uh, you know if we used an image there that we got from the internet uh, that's going to be a linkable image whatever it may be that's just a single use image libraries are uh, information, similar information, pictures, you know, we may have a 4-H uh, judging team library or a uh, gardening library is the example that I'm going to use here. So that's the difference between picture libraries and what an image is, okay? So we see up here we've got the create button, so I'm going to click on create and I am going to go down to picture library right here. So I pick click picture library and I am going to call it Garden slideshow. It's about to be springtime. It feels like springtime outside. The trees are starting to bloom. So uh, it's a good time to be looking at some garden pictures. So I'm going to select create. It's going to process. And now here we are. So we're up at the we're at the screen now where we want to upload our images. So you can upload multiple files or you can upload single pictures however you want to do it if you upload single pictures then you're able to more easily add the description so I'm going to do single pictures so I'm going to browse and pictures and I created one just called test slideshow so I'm going to select the one first one here and I'm going to open it and I'm going to click OK now, we see the picture, we can give it a name, we can add a description, uh, we can do keywords, which these keywords are coming in from the location of the picture. So, uh, those are already populating. I didn't add those in there, but you could add those in there if you wanted to. I'm going to select Save. Okay, so we've got that picture uploaded. I'm going to go into Upload, add another picture, browse again. It's going to go right back to where I was, open, click OK. Again, I got this from the internet. No keywords came with this one. So if I wanted to have keywords in there, I would type them. I could change the name, whatever I wanted to do. Click Save. We're going to see two there. Upload just two more. Browse. Select that picture. Click Open. Select OK. Description comes up. Got some keywords in there. Uh, so I could change the name if I wanted to, whatever I wanted to do there. Again, just going to click Save. And I'm going to upload just one more, and we are going to go forward with creating this. So upload that for fourth one. Okay, I'm not going to add anything or change anything. I'm just going to select Save. Oh, the keywords are too many, so I'm just going to get rid of all of them. Select Save. And now we've got our fourth one up there. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go to the page where I'm going to add this. And what I'm going to use is just a test page that I created when I did the survey. So if you're interested in learning how to do a survey from Google Docs and housing that on uh, your SharePoint website, you can go to that video. Those It's a, it's a three-part series. But I'm going to use that now just to upload this gardening uh, slideshow. So I'm going to select Site Actions. And I'm going to go to View All Site Content, and I'm going to select Pages. And we see there's my Test Survey page. Okay, so I'm going to select Test Survey. It's going to take me to that website, and here's the survey we did. Again, there's a three-part series you can watch on, on adding that. But I want to go to Site Actions and edit this page, and I'm going to click on Insert, and then click Web Part and I'm going to click media and content and then we see picture library slideshow web part and I'm going to select OK. So if we scroll down here to the bottom 
uh, because there was I was inside this main page content web part it's actually putting this slideshow in the same web part as the survey because there was only that one option there so click down here and I'm gonna select on edit web part alright if we look up here we see our picture library now on this side I've only got two but the gardening slideshow is the one that I want I want all pictures if I wanted selected pictures and I could go in there and select pictures just with a little square on them uh, and a check mark random orders fine title only display so I'm happy with all that so I'm gonna select apply and there we see our slideshow going if we watch it for just a second now one thing that I do want to point out as this slideshow is rolling through and it's we had it set to default you can change how long if I go back up here to the edit the web part if I scroll up here I can have it go as fast or as slow and have it set there for a while if you have some pictures with text in there you want people to read it you may want to slow that down um, you know just play with some of the stuff to change some of the outlines of it um, so I'm not going to change anything I'm just going to select apply but one thing that I do want you to be aware of is all of our pictures right now this web part spans the entire width of the body of this web page now say we had a web part that was kind of off to the side maybe we want to do a scrolling video uh, or, or slideshow in the corner and we had a very small web part if these pictures being different sizes see like this one is much bigger than the, the last one if we had a web part that only spanned the width of the uh, slideshow every time the picture got wider than that it would cause the border of that slideshow to increase now one thing that we could do on that is go down to your layout I'm sorry we'd actually go down to we'd go up here to appearance and under the chrome type we could select none and then select apply and okay and we will see that when we publish this page that border goes away so I'm going to select publish and you see we've got no border so that's one way to kind of combat that um, so if you have any questions on adding these slideshows to your website uh, the information should be up on the screen now, so don't hesitate to contact me, and we'll work you through it. I hope you find this informative and are able to use it on your county websites. Thank you.